had done against the Egyptian God refused to humble himself. And finally, every last one of the, is the Egyptians firstborn died. Pharaoh said, get out of here. Get them Israelites out of here. Proverbs 29 and 23. Proverbs 29 and 23 says, a man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Listen at that. A man's pride brings him low. So oh, don't let that new car make you proud. Let that new car keep you humble. Let God know every day, God, I thank you. You blessed me. You opened up this door. You gave it to me, Lord. How, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Can you stay humble after the Lord do something good in your life? Because humility is the key to everything you need. God told me that. He said, this is the key to, tell my people, this is the key to everything you need. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Recently I was in a, 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 a pastor's retreat and we prayed with pastors from all over Africa and everywhere. Amen. All kinds of different countries and everything. And I begin to share this people. Man, you talking about, he's, he, all of them would say, oh, that's it. That's it. Bishop, that's it. Oh. That's it. I'm going to show you based on the word. I ain't telling you to take Van's word for it. We're going to look at scripture to prove to you this is the key to everything you need. Everything you need. Isaiah 57 and 15. Isaiah 57 and 15 says, For thus saith the high and lofty one. Look at God talking about himself. Who is God? He's the high. And what? Lofty one that inhabit eternity. Whose name is what? Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also that is a, of a what? Contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble. To revive the heart of the contrite ones. God said when I see contrition, when I see brokenness, I'll revive you. That's why some of you, when you go through all that trouble, that trouble is breaking you. But God said I'll revive you. Because the only thing trouble does is make me depend more on God. Paul said when I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. Why? Because that's when I depend more on God. When I can't figure my way out, that's when I look more to God. That becomes my strength. Looking to God is your strength. Needing God's help is your strength. That's when you're at your strongest moment, when you need God. That's when you're at your most powerful moment. When you have to look to God, it's the strongest moment of your life. Yes, it will feel like your weakest moment, but in reality, it's your strongest moment. Cannot do. And God can fix what man cannot fix. And God can work out what man cannot work out. That's why I go to God when you get your little marriage together. Go to God. Don't stop coming to church. You and him talking about y'all got to sit home and watch TV and eat cornflakes. Then when everything fall apart, you're running back to church. That's how people doing. Then when things fall apart, they run back to church. They believe the church is a place where they run when everything falls apart. But when God starts fixing and mending it, they get back in pride. The same thing happened to Israel. When things got bad for Israel, Israel said, help us, God. Deliver us, God. Read the book of Judges. That's what the book of Judges is all about. How God had to keep right on raising up Judges. Because the nation of Israel kept going into Babylonian captivity and captivity of these other nations because of their pride. When God would bring them out, they would forget God. When God would help them, they would forget God. And then they would go back into captivity. Then God had to raise up a judge. He raised up Deborah. He raised up other judges to get them back out. As soon as they got back out. Oh, some people, as soon as they get out of stuff. They don't know how to stay broken. They don't know how to stay contrite. They don't know how to stay humble. 
Acts chapter 20, verses 18 through 20. Acts 20, verses 18 through 20. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, You know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mind, and with many tears and temptations, which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews, and how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have shown you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. Note what, how Paul he was serving the Lord with humility of mind. See, you can't serve God with a proud mind. It's, it's, it's the attitude. It's a mindset. You got to serve God with humility. You got to serve God knowing he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah. 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 No, no, no. You, that, that's a, don't, don't be talking about walking around here praying no prayer to my Lord. Keep me on. No, 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 no. You, you, you keep yourself on. God don't do that for you. Amen. Hallelujah. You ought to know where your blessings come from. You all know where your help coming from. You all know that God is your refuge and strength. You all know that God is your light and your salvation. Hallelujah. Listen. Alma people know the value of God's word. They know that every negative situation is an opportunity to exalt God. Let me say it again. Alma people know the value of God's word. They know that every negative situation is an opportunity to exalt God. Why whenever you face something, you better be telling people God can get some glory out of this. Amen. Tell your neighbor God can get some glory out of this. Amen. Yeah, that, that, everything you're going through right now, God can get some glory out of this. Yeah. That situation is going to turn around. Why? Because God going to get some glory out of this. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 8, verses 2 and 3. Deuteronomy 8, verses 2 and 3 says, And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee. And to prove thee and to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldst keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Hi, Allah. See, listen at me. God said, I allow them to go through situations so they would know the value of my word. See, the stuff you go through in life makes you all appreciate the word of God. Amen. That's why I'm always trying to get the word of God. Amen. Trying to go to the house of God. I'm not going to the house of God to see you. I'm coming to the house of God to get the word. Amen. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to the house of God to, to, to worship and, and, and to give God thanks. I do that because I know that people need to see me thank the Lord. But I understand that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I could thank God at home. But God wants you to hear the word Amen. that he's sending from heaven. Amen. Through the set vessel that he's chosen. It doesn't matter where you came here thinking I ought to preach. This is what the Holy Ghost told me to preach. And whatever the Holy Ghost told me to say, I ought to be willing to say, right? And that will feed you with knowledge and understanding and help you understand that God is trying to show you that this is the key to everything you need. Oh, I've seen saints do, I'm, I've been doing this for 31 years now. I've seen saints get a new car, get a house, lose it all. Lose the house, lose the car, lose it all. Why? Got in pride. Got in pride. Stop putting the word of God first place. Got in pride. Because God wants you to win and win and win and win. And the more you win, the more y'all to praise him. The more you win, the more y'all to dance. The more you win, the more y'all to come to church. The more you win, y'all to be at everything. That's why I come to everything. Because I know where God brought me from. I keep telling people, I know where God brought me from. Pop me, 81, east side home. That's right, that's where I used to live. <laughs> oh, somebody. Are you listening at me? 
Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 12, verses 6 and 7 and verse 12. I'm going to read something to you. It says, whereupon the princes of Israel and the king humbled themselves, and they said, the Lord is righteous. And when the Lord saw they humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came to Shimei, saying, they have humbled themselves, therefore I will not destroy them, but I will grant them some deliverance. And my wrath shall not be poured out upon Jerusalem by the hand of Shashak. And when he humbled himself, verse 12, the wrath of the Lord turned from him that he would not destroy him altogether. And also in Judah, things went well. How many want things to go well for you? When they humbled themselves, that God was getting ready to pour wrath out on this man. Getting ready to pour wrath out on the people. But when they humbled themselves, God couldn't resist humility. God couldn't resist humility. When God saw humility, he said, I, I, I can't do it. I'm about ready to show him, but I can't do it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Even when Jonah went through the city, Jonah went through the city and talked about certain things, and when he went preaching that message, them people humbled themselves, they repented, put the animals on a fast. Come on, y'all hear what I'm saying. And God did not destroy the city. But remember, the word came of destruction. Said, destroy, I'm going to destroy this city right. in 40 days. Amen. But because God saw humility. Amen. Hallelujah. Are y'all hearing what I'm talking about? Amen. Oh, this ain't nothing. I know these people getting proud now. Yes, I'm a lesbian. Yes, I'm a homosexual. And who can say anything to me about it? Ain't no different than that and black. It's a lot different between being black and being homosexual. Amen. Black is not a choice. Amen. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? I didn't say I want to be born black. I was just born black. But homosexual is a choice. That's a lifestyle choice. And God called that an abomination. He never said that being black is an abomination. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. But, but America getting proud now. Getting puffed up now. That's why all this mess happening in America. All this killing, all this rape, because we're looking at violence and there is stuff. Violence is covering the earth because man is getting proud. And when man get proud, he'll start doing anything. When man get proud, he'll act like he don't need God. And God is saying, you better humble yourself before all this mess get destroyed. You better humble yourself. Hallelujah. Listen, the fruit of humility is repentance. What comes out of, hum out, of, out, of, out of humility? Repentance. Yes, yes. When a person humble, that's how you got saved. You humble yourself. Yes, yes. You couldn't get saved till you humble yourself. Yes. Amen. I had to humble yourself. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't run that street. You yes. thought you were bad, but after a while, something hit you upside the head. You said, I'm going to church. I'm, I, I want Jesus. I want the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you had to humble yourself. Called the fruit of humility is repentance. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. True humility causes men and women to ask for God's forgiveness. Proverbs 16 and 19 says, Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. In other words, he said, better is to have a little bit and have an humble spirit than to divide the spoil with the proud. Now, how'd that be right? Better have a little bit and have humility. Why? Because God knew that humility and know that humility is the key to everything you need. Yeah. So even though you don't have a little bit right now, if you can remain humble, you'll get a whole lot after a while. Amen. That's why the Bible said, though your beginning is small, your latter end should greatly increase. God takes you from glory to glory, from faith to faith, from strength to strength. Yes. Now watch the scripture. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 24 through 31 and you will see.